Hello everyone, my name is Headley from HowHookah.com and today I want to bring you an overview of the different types of hookah bowls that you might encounter during your smoking adventures. So starting with this one, this is a traditional Egyptian bowl. It's made out of clay and the main design feature is that the holes are in the bottom of the bowl as you can see here. So the coals sit on the top, on top of your foil, the air gets pulled down through the bowl and the smoke comes down through these holes into your hookah rig. This will come with a lot of the handmade hookahs that are out there, uh, particularly your KMs and things like that, maybe your, your rotating hookahs. Uh, and this sort of style of bowl uh, works very well, but it is sort of the classic. Now, a lot of people, however, will actually begin their hookah life with this sort of bowl. This is called a mod bowl. It's generally found on your cheaper hookah rigs, usually out of China. And some of the main differences are that this is actually ceramic. It's not clay, it is made out of a ceramic, which is a lot thinner than the clay we saw on the Egyptian bowl. And as such, this does not perform as well, not nearly as well, um, mainly to do with the way that it handles heat. It gets hotter a lot quicker it is far easier to char your shisha and get a poor result. So after people have had either an Egyptian or a mod, generally they're looking for something a bit different. They want to try out something new. So where do they go? For a lot of people, particularly if they're coming from a mod bowl, they'll actually end up here with the Sahara Smoke Vortex Bowl. Now this is a so our smoke vortex bowl, you can see by the logo and the fact that it has vortex written on it as well. I say that because there are some Chinese knockoffs out there of this bowl and you should be wary of them. So if you are looking for one of these bowls, make sure you end up with the genuine article. Now, straight off the bat, you can see that the main design differences are that this has quite a deep well around the circumference of the bowl and the holes actually reside on this center spire. As you can see, I've got one here another one here and there's actually four evenly spaced apart around the edge of this spire. As you can see this does get a bit charred through smoking uh, but it does produce fantastic results just to, uh, because of the way that the air is able to flow through the bowl. It is very very difficult to get bad results with this bowl and that I think is one of the reasons why people go from say a mod bowl up to a vortex bowl. Now the Vortex Bowl does uh, cop a bit of flack in the hookah community as being an overhyped, overmarketed product. But that said, I personally feel that it's because of that easy learning curve that a lot of people do make that choice to go from here to here. Uh, and what I'll say for the Vortex is that it does produce great results um, depending on the type of tobacco that you are actually using in it. It is very, very good for those uh, wetter styles of tobacco. So things like your Starbuzz, your Fantasia, things like that. Uh, but it does, uh, it is made out of ceramic. So just be a bit wary of that. But I would still rate this as a much better alternative to this bowl. And in some respects, I would also use this over a classic Egyptian. So, if, where do most hookah smokers end up? As they get more experience, they actually end up here with a funnel style bowl. As you can see, it gets its funnel name because it looks like a funnel. It has a deep, it has a well around the outside, just the same way that the, the vortex bowl does. But in contrast to the vortex bowl, instead of having that spire, it has just one big hole straight down through the middle where the hot air from your coals gets pulled down into your hookah rig. Now, many experienced smokers will swear black and blue that this is the bowl for them. And I think they are talking absolute sense. They are fantastic bowls. It's a great design. It works very, very well. And there are a lot of different variations of this bowl. The one I have here is actually called an Alien Mini Funnel Bowl. It gets its name because it is very, very small. Uh, this is very, very shallow. If I put my finger in here, you can see it barely goes in and it uh, will hold about anywhere between 10 and 15 grams of shisha uh, and for my money it is the perfect solo smoking bowl. 
So maybe you want to be using a bigger one, something like a Tangiers funnel bowl, which is a much bigger bowl. Even their small size is a lot bigger than the Alien Mini funnel. But this bowl itself has very, very thick clay construction and uh, yeah, smokes very, very well. Now, like I was saying though, between this bowl, the Vortex bowl and the Mod bowl, I think a lot of people sort of progress this way because of the learning curve. It does take a little bit more finesse, a little bit more practice to get this bowl smoking like a, cha a champ. But like with most things, if you put in that time, you will get fantastic results out of your funnel bowl. However, the step up from the mod bowl to the funnel bowl, uh, sorry, rather the vortex bowl, too many bowls to remember. Um, but the step up from the mod bowl to the vortex bowl is uh, it's a very, very gradual learning curve. Like I said, it is very hard to mess up this bowl. So I think most people go from mod to vortex and then up to funnel. But that said, don't, ever, don't discard your, your Egyptian. They do work very, very well. Uh, and it just depends. A lot of the, your choice of bowl per uh, smoking session is going to depend a lot on the type of tobacco that you're using. But we can get into that a bit later. So just a quick recap. Most people start with the ceramic made, water, uh, sorry, ceramic made mod style bowl. But they want to get rid of that pretty quickly because it's useless, let's face it. Then you've got the Egyptian bowl, comes with a lot of handmade Egyptian hookahs. Uh, works very well, but some people just want to want to get away from it a bit and want to try something new. Holes are in the bottom, clay made. Then we have the Vortex bowl, unique design in, in that it has the spire at the top with the four evenly distributed holes around it. Has a deeper well than say my Alien mini, mini funnel. Make sure you get the proper Sahara smoke one um, and not a Chinese knockoff. And even though this one is made out of ceramic still, it does produce fantastic results. Then of course, the smoker's choice, the funnel bowl. Big hole through the middle, well designed just like the, uh, just like the Vortex. So your shish actually sits in a well and collects all the juices. Made out of clay, handles heat very, very well. Uh, and is a fantastic bowl all around. So this has been Headley from howhooker.com. Come check us out, have a read of some articles and uh, subscribe, rate, follow, comment, do all that great stuff. And in the future, I'll keep you up to date with all sorts of other hooker tips and tricks. Thanks guys, bye.